It is a beautiful morning today on the Isle of Arran. I'm so glad I got up early to enjoy it because we're due heavy rain from about 10. So I thought I've got to get up and I've come on one of my favourite walks on the island um, and that's Glen Ashdale Falls. And I used to do this a lot when I lived here before, when I was younger, before I could drive, I could walk here from our home in Whiting Bay. Um, so I've done this walk many, many times, but it's always really special. And I don't remember the last time I did it in spring because it's just, yeah, it's just even more beautiful. I think the last time I did it was probably winter time um, and everything's just like crazy alive with life now. The bluebells were stunning, but I have to say the wild garlic has stolen the show for me. It's just a really pretty flower and it's everywhere. <laughs> and the whole, uh, all the area just smells of garlic, which I love. <laughs> so, and it also reminds me of home because we have, um, my family have some land on our own. So they have 10 acres between them. And part of it does run uh, a wee creek and then we have loads of wild garlic, particularly this time of year. So always that smell always is like, oh, reminds me of home and my childhood. But yeah, I do recommend this walk if you are coming to Arran. It is really lovely. You get waterfall, obviously, but there's also other archaeological features. There's giant graves and there's a wee old settlement as well that you can see. And it's a really nice, there's a couple of choices of what you want to do. Um, but yeah, some nice loops. It is a bit of a climb, so perhaps if you're not quite able to do long hikes, you'll just do a bit of it. Um, but yeah. I've uh, better get moving because the midges have started and they have found me, so I'm gonna get cracking. <laughs> but I'll check in with you guys soon. Aaron is filled with magical walks. I spend a lot of time enjoying the spectacular coast, as this is something I miss living in the Cairngorms, which is a fair distance from the sea. Whenever I find my mind is too busy or life feels overwhelming, I always return to this image in my mind. I imagine I am watching the waves rolling into the shore. It never fails to bring me peace. There is a simplicity to my family's life on Aaron. I am inspired to start growing as I have been gorging on homegrown salad and strawberries, so I know the supermarket produce will not be the same. A project that I'm excited to start on my return to my tiny home. It's not all coastal walks in Arran. There is plenty of excitement if you decide to venture further inland.
The scenery becomes more dramatic and you can walk through glens and visit waterfalls or locks. You can even climb Goat Fell Mountain, if you so choose, which is the largest hill on Arran and gives spectacular views. Good morning everybody. I've come further inland today, so I'm just hiking Glen Rosa. You can see behind me there. A bit of a mixed day weather-wise. I absolutely got a soaking um, about 20 minutes ago. Heaven's opened, but now I've got my sunglasses. So the sun is coming out. But I've never actually done this route, surprisingly. I tend to stick around the coast when I come to Arran because I live in the Cairngorms and we don't really get the sea, but we do get a lot of hills and you know, mountains, forests. So I would like to make the most of being near the sea, but I felt like I wanted a longer hike today. So I decided to come explore this and it is really pretty. Um, and I think I'll go a bit further north as well and do a bit more exploring up there and then maybe go to Lag Distillery later. Um, my mum wants to show me that. I shan't be really doing the distillery tour or anything because I don't drink but apparently it's a very nice building and I've not seen it. Maybe get a cup of tea. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to finish this walk and try and get back to the car before the heavens open again. <laughs> I'll check in with you in a bit. I'm always sad to leave Aaron, but at the same time, I'm impatiently craving my Highland home and cannot wait to return. The Highlands will always be my soul's forever home. <laughs> 